anger, and even rage are merely sensations that can, and in fact should, be controlled. All sensations, emotions, thoughts, feelings, and all of the package of what goes on in your head can be controlled by you, yourself, your conscious mind, the higher part of the self. These feelings, thoughts, and everything are parts of who you are, but they are not the totality of your being. You have a will, a higher mind, a logical thought process that is you, in essence. All of these things are you, but this is the core logical part of who you are. You may use this part of yourself to control the rest of this, like with my example at the beginning. Anger and even rage may be controlled. If these things come to you, if you are angry beyond reasoning about something, and you feel like you might do something foolish, back up. Assert your logic. Control the situation and the thoughts. Understand what these things are, what is producing them, and then understand that you are in fact the master of who you are and your being. Your mind this thing is the key to who you are. It is the master control of everything that is you. And as such, it pulls the switches and the levers and makes things happen. And if you exert this power and you start flipping those switches yourself, you can gain a greater control of yourself than you may have thought possible. Oh, you're berserk angry. You can take a deep breath, use logic, reason it out, and mitigate that anger to a controllable level. You feel lust. You can use your mind, logic, and reason and think about what that consequence would be to that moment of lust and reason it out until it's under control. Even with unmitigated joy or something, which I don't know why you'd want to regulate, but potentially you might have to. It can be done. Thing is, all of your emotions, all of these things that feel like you have no control over, that's an illusion. You have control. You can master these things. And it is healthy to let yourself express these things. Do not control it to the point that you cut it off, but instead control them so that they do not rule you. Because if you are ruled by your emotions and your passions without thought, you're basically just an animal then. You're running off instinct and you're liable to do something one day that you will terribly regret in the grip of anger or hatred, or rage or something, or even sorrow, who knows? In the grasp of an emotion that you are not controlling at least a little bit, that you do not exert your will on to some degree, you're at its mercy. And you should never be just at the mercy of your emotions before you are the master of yourself. And if your rage or your sadness or something is ruling you, then you need to take a step back and understand that that is unhealthy and that you need to control that. Just something to think about.